Well, howdy YouTube. It's your friendly neighborhood Chef Shea Tree. Well, it's a new week. It's nice and sunny today. It's like mid 70s, somewhere in there. I don't know exactly what the temperature is, but it's nice, sunny. And uh, before I get into this, I'm going to show you really what I started with today with. I started my day off getting some tea ready to brew. Yes, uh, my my delicious sun tea. And if you guys have watched, been watching me in any of my uh, previous videos, yeah, I do my sun tea with uh, a dehumidifier water. It turns out excellent. So this, it's been sitting out here for a couple hours already. So uh, yeah, that's how I started my day off with. Get my, get, might be my last chance of uh, doing tea this year. I don't know. Might not be too many more uh, nice, sunny, warm days left in here in Ohio. So I figured I better get me some uh, tea going. So that's what I started my day off with. So if anybody watched my uh, Sunday video, I was uh, getting this thing cleaned out, getting it ready to go. And you can see the panels back here come clean real quick. And if you guys want to know what this box is for back here, well, I kind of keep stuff back here. Or I keep stuff in a box that I've used in the van, you know, in my vehicles. So I uh, keep the box and stuff. So then I'm, later on I can write it down and figure out what I've got, actually got in the stuff, you know. I keep track of everything. Then I take it in. Do my paperwork so I know exactly what all I have in the vehicles. So that's why the box is in, still in the van here. I want to keep a, a track of it. But anyways, i got something to show you here real quick before I get going too far. Now, if anybody remembers these cups that I pulled out of the van, yeah, I left them sit and soak overnight. And yeah, that, that's that's what come out of these cups here, guys. I just I just don't see why anybody would leave stuff go like that and get that nasty. Hey, look at the, look at the nastiness in the bottom of that one. Yeah, I left them soaking here. So <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys that real quick. What kind of nastiness you get in some vehicles. So I'm going to get these cleaned out real quick. And hopefully not. They're soaked up good enough. I can get. Yeah I can get that garbage out of the bottom of it. So drain the, drain it right here. And get these cleaned up. Oh yeah. Them look much better now. Looky there. Looky there. But I want to show you guys something real quick. I had a, a comment on video one time. About my fingernails. See them fingernails. And somebody said, trim the fingernails. Well, I have come to find out that sometimes fingernails can be used as tools. Especially when I've, I've used them cleaning out this stuff. See them down in the corner there? Sometimes you can't get down in the corners of these things very easy. Well, I take my fingernail down in there. And I can get down in there in the corner with my fingernail and dig the garbage out. <laughs> I've, just, I've found it, fingernails being useful. Uh, I've used uh, fingernails as scrapers and, you know, if you need a quick scrape or something, get something out, you just, you know, that's, <laughs> that's kind of why I grow long fingernails. They're kind of short right now because I've been breaking them off and working and stuff. But anyways, that's kind of why I grow my fingernails long. Plus, my mom always wanted a girl too, so that's another thing. But, <laughs> but anyways, that's one reason why I grow my fingernails long. Some guys don't, just don't know what it's like to get, have long fingernails. You know, they're emergency scrapers. But the heck, use your, use your tools what you can use. <laughs> Catch you guys later. I'll get back to this. Okay, I'll throw them up on the top of the van so they can uh, dry real quick. Now to tackle this dirty seat here. And uh, if you've seen a previous uh, video I did on my uh, that green sable, well, my favorite stuff to use is this stuff right here. This Blue Magic Carpet Stain and Spot Lifter. You get this at Dollar General. I think it's like five bucks for a thing of it and that's what i use on this stuff so it, this stuff works pretty good so uh yeah i'm gonna tackle this this stain real quick and get this thing cleaned up you see it now well just wait till you see it after i get done here guys so i'll get back with you and get this done well there we go so far guys eh, it looks better doesn't it now the big uh transmission pan rust stain on it now so yeah i got it cleaned up and i cleaned this up a little bit and it don't look too bad looks a little better and so i gotta do the other side now i'll go over there and do that yeah boy just look at some of this nastiness down here this stuff's filthy 
Okay, to clean out. Look at there. That's some of the stuff that run out the bottom of it while it dried. I get that taken care of, and get the rest of the seat cleaned up right here. That's not too much on this side, so that'll be easy. So I'll get back with you in a minute. Well, there we go, guys. Looks uh, almost as good as new, just about. Got my fingerprints right there. <laughs> but anyways, there we go. Looky there, looky there. Looks a lot better. Even down here looks better. Look at that. Don't look too awful bad, does it, guys? So, uh, yeah. Got this uh, cleaned up. Now I just gotta let her dry out. It's pretty pretty wet down here. Had to scrub at her and scrub at her pretty good. So, got it cleaned up. Looking halfway decent. Seat looks pretty good. I got these things are about dried up. I'm looking... I didn't get them real, real clean, but they're <laughs> cleaner than what they were, that's for sure. Let them dry a little bit longer and... Yeah, guys. So, uh, we're just about, I'm just about done with this thing. So, uh, oh yeah, I forgot too, this, that panel on the back there was, uh, falling down. If you didn't see my one video, here I found out it's got hooks that slide in this way. So, it just had to get pulled up and slide the hooks back in it. So, that's back on, proper. And, uh, yeah, well, got one other thing to show you guys. This thing's needing some windshield wipers. Need about shot on this thing. Well, they've been sitting out in the weather for quite a while. But I got something to show you guys real quick. I want to measure these, see what they take. Well, this thing takes a 24-incher and a 20-incher. So I got to show you something. I got to go in my stash house. This is my stash house. I'll show you. It's kind of a mess in here, though. I probably shouldn't show you all of it. This is some of my stash. I got oil, antifreeze. All kinds of stuff in here. Keep my parts and extra tools in here. I got parts all over the place. Back in here I got parts. I got parts all over, but I gotta show you something else real quick. It's dark in here, but I gotta pull these couple of these boxes out of here real quick. There's a box right there. Yep, you got it. That's right. I keep a stash of wiper blades. <laughs> I think this is from 16 to 20. And then anything in here is 20, 21 and bigger. So yeah. I keep a little stash of wiper blades. I got three boxes of wiper blades. There's, that's extras down in here. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, my stash of wiper blades. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna get a couple of wiper blades for this Windstar real quick. And when I say these were extra blades, these were like blades that I pulled off of cars that were uh, that I junk. There's a double wiper blade. Needs new uh, blades on it, but you know, just extra blades that are still good. That, you know, could be used if you wanted to. So, that's what that matter. Them are. Just extra blades I had that were still, you know, they're still good. You can, they, they can be usable. So, that's what my extra blades are. But I got three boxes of, of wiper blades. So, I pulled, I pulled two out here for the Windstar. So, yeah. My stash of blades. So, there we go. New wipers are on. Looky there, looky there. Now, the next person who buys this thing will be able to see while they're driving so got them on and i'll take these and put them in my box so i know i used them on it so uh yeah that job is complete so yeah get back with you on this well it does look like these are dry enough i can put them back in their rightful spots so yeah get these i put the wipers in there but anyways looks like uh yeah put these back in their spots here Two there, and one over here. There we go. That looks ten times better. Yeah, buddy. Looky there, looky there. So, yeah. This thing's looking pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. So, yeah, guys. Uh, I think I might conclude this video for today. So, uh, I'll get back around here. Yeah, so guys, I did take this thing out for a little drive today. I uh, got the uh, transmission fluid full in it now. It took two more quarts of oil. So got that done, taken care of. As you see, I've got, I put wipers on it, cleaning the interior in it. And, uh, well, during my little drive today, I found another little issue with it. So I got something else to fix. I got the 
the brakes are hanging up on this front right here you could smell them it, it, the wheel got hot so the brakes are sticking on this side so I'm going to have to get it in the shop and see if it's the caliper or the or the hose more than likely it's the hose I have this is, you know the, the hose inside the, the rubber hose inside breaks down so more than likely it's probably the hose so I might have to put a hose on this but anyways there you go guys I am probably about done for today so I'd show you guys this my Monday getting this thing going and I still had the Mustang in the shop I haven't messed with it and I've got a little something else going on right there that I wanted to do but anyways I'll get back with you guys later uh, I want to conclude this one on the van just you know the videos on the van so uh, yeah guys Hope you guys are enjoying these uh, videos on the on this van. Trying to get this thing a going here, and it's looking pretty dang good. So I'll get this thing ready to drive. Get ready for the winter. So uh, always thanks for watching. I love them uh, comments and everything. So keep them coming, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. This is Chef Shade Tree. Catch you in the next one. <laughs> I gotta repeat myself all the time. <laughs> but thanks, guys.